Welcome back. In the last lesson, we I showed you how you can uh, register for hosting and uh, register for domain. In these lectures, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress inside your hosting. You get the point. Now, one thing that I want you to know is this. If there's anything that if you run into any error or any problem, you can always come on this website. You can see with this support here. You can chat with them. You get the point? And uh, rectify any issue that you have. Or you chat them on WhatsApp. You can also call these people uh, through this. Uh, there's a number here. Yes. This, their numbers here. You can reach out to them. This one, the, you, you wouldn't spend time queuing. You get the point? We have a Telegram channel and a WhatsApp group, so you can also reach out to me if you have any problem implementing the things that I'm teaching you right now. You get the point? You can reach out to me on WhatsApp or you reach out to me on Telegram. I'll be there to answer any question that you have. You get the point now? So to install WordPress, I'm going to just log in. So I'm just going to enter my email and uh, my password and just log in. You get? Now, uh, once you log in here, is uh, you are just going to click on services and click on my services. You can also do this with your phone. You get? And uh, you click on this active. Once you click on this active, you will see uh, uh, distance here. This is where if you want to create email account, this is where you create it. But this is not what we want now. You just have to click on login to cPanel. You get a point here. I don't know the interface that you are going to see in your own. But try to locate the cPanel. You get a point. But this is how you access it. On true host uh, I'm going to go down and uh, you will find um, you will find uh, software WordPress manager by software clause so you just have to click on it once you click on it uh, you are going to see install you get now um, I'm going to click on install once you click on install, you are going to see this. The installation URL, yourochim.com, exactly. That's the only URL here, as you can see here. And your installation URL, HTTPX, and yourochim.com. Now, this HTTPS, we got it by default because they have, uh, they have free one-year uh, SSL uh, certificate. You get the point. That SSL uh, is uh, a kind of security that protects your website. But I'm going to still talk about it later in the video. Now, this is it. You just have to scroll down. And uh, um, the site's name, I'm going to name it Yorochim, Yorochim Apex. So I'm jo I just named it Yorochim Apex site description. When it comes to site description, I'm just going to copy something here. Uh, we help you unleash the power of uh, digital marketing. Hello. Site description, control A, control V. Okay. Now, um, if you want, you can enable multiple, multi-site, you get? But my dear, there is no need for that now. If I'm going to be creating, uh, if I'm going to be creating subdomains, I'll be doing it from the add-ons aspect. Though we'll come to that later in this course. You get the point. So you just have to leave this place as it is. You get the point. Actually, the language that I use is uh, is English. Now here, um. This admin username, 
these admin username i don't uh, encourage you to use admin as an admin no you can name it anything that you want but i don't like keeping it as admin you get a point so you need to use something that uh, hackers will not just like um hackers will not just guess you get a point you have to make it unique unique to you you get a point so i'm just going to put something there so i'm going to use apex admin for this this step but there is one thing that is very very important one thing that is very very important as i said earlier anything that you do here make sure that um, you write it down you get so i'm going to broaden this up so that you can see it very well wordpress logins uh i'm going to put this the username that i use there is uh apex admin now um the code it just they suggested a code for you here you get so i'm just going to look for a code I strongly advise that any password that you are going to be using here, let that password be unique and very, very strong. You get the point. Now I'm just going to add my own password. Make sure that the code you put is a very strong code. You get the point. As you can see on my screen here, make sure that you have, you save every code that uh, you put in. You get um once you do that uh, you choose the email the admin email you get a point the admin email that you want to be using to log in uh you can also copy this like this copy it and uh, you go to where you are putting the thing you get why this thing is very very important you doing it is so that uh, you do not make a mistake because if you make mistakes in this thing it will just eat your time unnecessarily you get a point so that's why you need to take your time and save this test now when you when you come down here you will see uh, uh select plugins now we are going to be needing backup uh, plugins actually improve page speed and limit uh uh, limit login now when it comes to this email smtp we are going to leave this one we are going to leave this one empty like this you get a point we include this file manager we can also choose it you get a point though you can access your file manager through your cpanel but I encourage you to also select this one but we are going to look into plugins later on in this video now that is it for plugins and uh, you see this advanced option let me open it and see what is happening here auto upgrade wordpress plugins i i don't click on this because there is some plugins like Elementor that you can upgrade up sorry auto update I don't understand this word upgrade here but when it comes to auto update not every plugin that you put on auto update it might break your site by the way I'm also going to talk more about it deeply so we are just going to leave this as it is here you get a point but uh, this uh, this backup location um, I put it in local folder, which is uh, <laughs> which is inside my laptop. You get a point. This uh, auto automated, this automated uh, backups. I'm just going to leave it where it is. You get a point. Uh, let me just close this up. I'm just going to put my email down here and uh, click on install. You get uh, never. It's telling me installation cannot proceed because the following files already exist 
in the target folder which is dot uh, ht assets i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to click on this select the checkbox to overwrite all files and continue let me just check if what i did earlier if what i did earlier is still there so i'm just going to click on install okay let's wait for it congratulations the software was installed successfully now wordpress has successfully wordpress has been successfully installed at uh, eurochain.com okay this is the administrative url uh, we hope the installation was uh, successful you get the point now before i continue there is something that i need to let you know i don't know if i've said this before now if you check your inbox after that initial registration after that initial registration of the of the web hosting and domain name you are supposed to receive these three e emails the first one is the receipt of your payment the second one is the confirmation the confirmation of your uh, the confirmation of your domain name you get as you can see the instruction um, you need to click on uh, click on the link they provide to you to um, you need to click on the link that they provide to you to verify your de domain immediately you click on it is going to take you where it will be verified you have confirmed your email address and the clause is successful you get the point uh the last one is your cpanel login credentials where they will show you all the details of your all your login details and the codes to your cpanel your ftp account and others you get the point so you just have to take your time and go through the emails you get a point now let me refresh this okay so let's go back now i just need to click on uh, return to wordpress management as you can see this is the summary of your installation you can from here and the login login direct <laughs> voila this is our wordpress dashboard this is what wordpress looks like this is what is inside wordpress in our next video i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be showing you everything about about these buttons here and everything that you are seeing here you get a point i'm going to be showing you how to log into your wordpress admin panel from your website now i want you to look at the top here you will see this address there whatever your domain is you get let me open an ignito browser and show you what i mean now anytime you want to log into your wordpress admin dashboard all you need to do is just to click as in paste that link this for example here now as you can see https eurochim.com slash wp slash admin slash you get the point or if you just put in your domain name okay let me just put in eurochim eurochim.com now this is the link to your website you get eurochim apex this this is the site that i just registered now you get a point hey, this is quite beautiful shot. but if you want to log into your wordpress admin dashboard all you need to do is just add that 
at the end of your domain name, you just need to click on slash. You type in WP slash admin. You get the point. Then you add another slash. Now, when you click on it, it will prompt you to log in into your admin dashboard. So I'm just going to, so all you need to do is to put in your your email and uh, you put in your password that you saved. You get the point. That admin email, sorry, admin password. All you need to do is just to copy it. If you copy it, sorry, there is a space back here. So all you need to do is just to copy it. If you copy it, you go here and paste it. Remember your password, your own password. This is mine. You get the point. You just have to log in. Voila, you have logged in into your admin, WordPress admin dashboard. Now, this is where I'll be closing it in this lectures. I will see you in the next one where we'll be exploring WordPress. Thank you. I'll see you in the next lecture.